looking around, we're looking for a Macca's. Uh, it's the 22nd of March 2019. I'm sad MCR broke up six years today. Still holding out hope for a reunion. So we'll keep you not updated. So it didn't get harder. Update, we found the Macca's. I'm pushing you further. Things. Um, oh my god, I'm so glad. Good times. Also, we chip shop. This is Ruby Smith Okay, so I think for me it's kind of a cathartic thing, right? So it's uh, it's about work. I think that that's the same for many musicians. It's like you're working through your own thoughts and feelings, trying to put them in some kind of order, make sense of them yourself. Um, and, and yeah, I, I guess that that's kind of what songwriting is. That's, that's what it has been for me, especially with these last few songs, and not just stuff that I've been through, but stuff that people I know have been through, and just exploring those emotions. Sounds really but you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's so kind of like... that one out. Yeah, it's like, is there no swearing now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool. Oh, I have lots of, I have, I have quite a few nerdy interests. Um, one of them being, uh, I really like uh, cosmology, so like um, the study of stars and planets and things like that. I find that really, really interesting. I um, I'm I really like condiments. I make sauce. So I do boxing to keep fit. Um, yeah, I've, I've got various things that I do outside of music. I was expecting the sauce one. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I was not expecting that. I didn't know that was a hobby, but all right. There you go. Boxing was just fit initially, and then uh, and then it just kind of developed from there, um, which was good. Sauce, I've always been into it. You know, condiments. I've had loads of condiments. I started reviewing them, and then yeah, I Thank just. You, uh, so random, that's it. Yeah, well, you know, it's just one of those things, right? You, you've got to have stuff that you do outside of something yeah. you do most, because I think it's good to get a bit of context, right? Yeah. So there's that, and then, yeah. I just love it. I love playing music. I love, I think I really like the creative process more than anything else. Um, it's something music defines periods of your life more than anything else right so you, you have songs that will uh you know bring you back to a period unlike anything else and um yeah i i, I think it's almost like it's kind of like I'm trying to think of the right way to word it it's like an audio timeline of your life and your experiences yeah Okay, this is Edie's question, yeah. right? And there's kind of some background to this because okay. we went to um, a concert for a band called Palais Royale mm -hmm. uh, a couple of months ago in October. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know of them. Yeah, I know. Well, um, we went to their concert and we were kind of sat in line for hours. And it was a freezing cold day, yeah. and some guy in front of us in the line bought uh, paper and pens and started like making banners. So we we're making banners. And Edie's question was, "What colour is your toothbrush?" <laughs> Color blind. It's a great <laughs> question. I don't. I don't really know. I think it's purple. Fair enough. I think it's purple. What color is your toothbrush? Mine's blue. Uh, yeah. Mine's pink and white. Mine's pink and white. There you go. I'm gonna give you two. Alive, Elton John. Fair enough. Dead. Don't say Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Not now. <laughs> um, 
Dead. I think Prince would have been really interesting. He he would have been like. Not really interesting. He would he would be a slave driver. Yeah. But um, but I think interesting. Okay. Uh, so this one I will get partially because it's my first tattoo. It's my own name on my wrist. Which is uh, bizarre to say the least, because you don't usually get your own name tattooed. I think it was just a spur of the moment thing. I was with my dad, we were in Camden, and he was like, You should get a tattoo. I was like, What should I get? Well, I can't get someone else's name, because, you know, that's a silly thing to do. Uh, I'll get my own name. So I got my own name tattooed. Oh, well, I just had a little shiver there, sorry. So and, you um, break up with yourself. Yeah, that was the thing, right? Well, that's going to be me. If I ever lose my marbles, at least I'll know who I am. Because that's probably one of the most daft ones. I listen to a lot of the old um, emo stuff at the moment, just love it. But it's March um, 22nd today. Oh, it is, yeah. You hurt me, you know. R.I.P. I had to buy the tickets and I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be okay with um, that. I really like Panic! at the Disco's new album. Uh, High Hopes, it's a big tune. She was just out there going, yeah. so overplayed. Really into it. It is really, of course it's really overplayed, overplayed because it's fucking great. Yeah, yeah, it's a great song. I mean, I, I had to like have like a, a time off it because... It was so thanks guys. That's okay, thank <laughs> really you. Like talking to you. Tickets as well, the opening band, and I got this awesome fucking poster. But yes, 